Bone flipping is a new feature introduced in Anime Studio Pro 11. Essentially, we can flip bones on the fly, allowing you to change the way bones work mid-animation. As an example, I have an arm on screen here, and this is a pretty simple example, but I think it will illustrate this well. If I play it out, you can see it just an arm bending up like that. So pretty simple and straightforward. But let's say, as an example, midway through this animation, so maybe right about here, I want the palm to be facing down instead of up. Well, I could, if this were a previous version, go in here to the arm, find the hand, come over here to my transform layer tool, and then try to flip the hand. So I could do the flip layer horizontally, and this would work, as you can see, the palm is now facing down. But the problem is we sort of lose track of where we are when we do these types of things. Of course, this has to deal with the anchor point, but also it's never gonna be quite right. It's never going to align quite right when you do these things. Now, you still have some functionality here. If we come back here to the bone and take the transform bone tool and try to move the hand, you can see that the hand is still linked to that bone, but because of the transform layer property, it's just really offset. Now, of course, you can try to go in and try to correct this and bring it back, and that could work, but it's also a bit of a pain. So how do we get this to work without doing any of that? Well, that's where the new bone flipping feature comes in. Let me just bring everything back here to default. So we have our hand like this. And now I'm going to go to that same frame and I'm going to click on the arm bone layer. And now let's select that hand bone with the select bone tool. And then I'm going to come up here and choose to end flip or to side flip. If we choose end flip, it's going to do this. It's basically going to give you the opposite angle of what you're doing right now. And that can be useful in different cases. Let me just undo that. But the side flip allows us to do what we wanted to originally, bring the palm facing down. And as you can see, I don't have to go in and do any major adjustments to the hand because it just flips right where I want it. All it's doing is just flipping the bone, and since the hand is tied to the bone, it's going to flip along with it. And you can see we now have a keyframe here in our timeline. So if we view this, you can see it flips mid-animation. Now again, it's only a one frame change, so this would probably be used more for specialty shots. Let's say you want to do a head turn, or you want to do just a quick motion where you flip the bone around so that the audience doesn't really catch what happened. You can do that very easily now with this new feature. Let me show you one more example. This one is a little bit more complex, so I'll hide the arm and bring in our character here. So if I play this out, you can see it's just our character talking. But now, let's say during this, I want to enhance the scene even more. So when he starts to blink, maybe when he comes out of the blink right here, I could select that bone. Then I could come over here and we could choose, for instance, the side flip. Now, as you can see, it just flips it like that. And if we play it back, it looks pretty good. And again, this will all depend on your animation style and how quick you want these motions to be. But in cases like this, I think it works very well. If you'd like more information or tutorials on Anime Studio, visit anime.smithmicro.com.